Hey, Sand Car Buy Sell Crew, Conrad coming to you with a classified ad review for Monday, February 28th, 2022. Started off here with Old Glory from the Boardmanville Live Cam. These are the current conditions out in Glamis this Monday, beautiful Monday morning. It looks like we got some campers out there having a good time, beautiful conditions. But we're not here to do a weather report, we're here to do a classified ad review. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. That's our classified ad review ticker thing that I decided would be cool. So when you hear that sound, it's a classified ad review. So let's see here. We've got a car by Sand Car Buy Sell member Derek. So this is going to be French, right? Le Ferrier? Le Ferrier. So I'm sure the English is Le Ferrier. French would be Le Ferrier. But anyhow, <laughs> this fellow is based out of Lakeside, California, which is a suburb of San Diego. Oh, and before I forget, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that ticker for the bell because we've got a whole lot more content coming, more than just the classified ad reviews. We're doing a lot of filming right now. And please leave us a comment and tell us what you think about this car. Uh, tell us what you think about these particular classified ad shows, if there's anything I'm missing, anything you'd like me to add. So without further ado, subscribe, bell, comment, and let's go. Let's rock and roll. So let's take a look at this. Let me pull over the, where did it go, my notes. Here's my notes. So on this car, what do we have? Four-seater, 1915 VW, built by Buggy Works with brand new dual 44 carburetors. Six first overall shocks with reservoirs. That's what the FOA is. First overall CNC pedals, disc brakes, brand new pa paddles, front and rear, brand new set of tires. Bus transmission, new 930 CVs, new Mastercraft seats, reupholstered Taylor rear seats, five-point harnesses, super important. Safety is super important. What does Dora say? Does anybody have kids? So we can be safe. I digress. We've got... Fresh powder coat, fresh tune-up, runs clean and strong, asking 9000 bucks. I don't know, a four-seater with all that stuff is a, is a pretty good deal if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through these pictures, and let's take a look and see what we see. So right off the bat, what I've got is a really nice, tall roll cage. I think if you guys have watched these videos, you've noticed that the roll cage portion of the car is super important to me. Part of the reason for that is I'm six foot one, right? So I'm a big guy. So to be able to see out of the car is very important to me. Also, this has got a B pillar in it. Again, fantastic for safety. It looks like it's a very well constructed car. Also, this has low sides on it. So considering these are sand cars, right? We're not run these things mostly in the desert unless you get a dual sport car or triple sport car whatever it is this makes it really easy to get in and out i love high-sided cars don't get me wrong but when you're old like i am climbing in and out of those can be tough so here i just got done talking about safety and i'm talking about low sides for comfort but at the end of the day <laughs> i like the low sides so let's get to the next photo so what did he say here we've got a 1915 with dual 44s Folks, if you know Volkswagens, you're, you don't have to listen. If you don't know Volkswagens, check this out. A 1915 CC VW with dual 44s is a bulletproof combination. I love non-stroked VWs. Why or what does that mean? Stroker VWs are typically going to be your um, two, two, two liter and up, right? Two, 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 two liter and up. 2180, 2275, 2332, 2442, yada, yada, yada. And what that means is this particular crankshaft that's in this VW is a 69 millimeter, which is a stock throw that throws the rods. You can use a standard rod on this and you can open up the cylinders to 94 cc's, 94 millimeters, sorry, cc's, 94 millimeter pistons. So having this be unstroked means you don't have to clearance the inside of the case and you don't have to put spacers behind the cylinders to push everything out to make it work. If you know Volkswagens, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know Volkswagens, what this means to you is it works. Everything is almost like factory in a sense. All you've done is opened up the, uh, the cylinders and hopefully you've opened up the, the, the cylinder heads as well, made them flow in the whole nine yards. But what I'm getting at is a 1915 is an extremely reliable engine with plenty of power, especially with those dual 44s on it. So 
Anyway, I like it. Can you tell? We've got the nice breather set up up high. And if you've ever run Volkswagens, you know these things have a tendency to puke oil at high RPMs. So if you ever wonder what these are, if you have this, you don't have your valve covers vented and you're going to puke oil out of the filler. So we run these vents on these and then we put it up high above the engine so it'll it'll vent the crankcase pressure and it won't blow the oil out. So that's what that is and that's a really nice billet aluminum piece with dual K&Ns. Moving on. Driver's side view. So here's the FOA shocks that we've got on here with the reservoirs. This is a beautiful setup with them clipped on up there. It looks like we're still running a uh, torsion rear suspension on that which these work really well. IRS with torsion, this car is going to be a lot of fun. Spindle mount, no front brakes. I'm a fan of no front brakes. Again, because less things to, to break. Your brakes don't break because you don't have brakes. Squirrel. Front end. So we're using a aluminum beam in the front. Standard width aluminum beam. It looks like standard length trailing arms but we've got our foa coilovers up here with these beautiful fabricated upper shock mounts right these are the things that i'm looking for when i'm looking in the classified ads at cars for sale is what are the extras what are the details on it and that's one of them this x bracing in the front is fantastic for structure at the a pillar it's got these uh, bars up in here we've got a beautiful set of lights on it you can really see well at night he said brand new tires so you've got your triple razors up front oh again the the little reservoirs that run from the the shock and let's buzz through this side view rear view oh and then i just noticed it's got a soft top on it which if you if you're a duner already you know it's nice to have a top on because we're out in the sun all day long right so this has got a fabric top quiet muffler you know the turn down exhaust with the quiet tip because Volkswagens, well, any of these cars tend to be loud if you don't put a muffler on, but especially Volkswagens. So I like it quiet in the cockpit, in the cabin. Let's buzz through these camp, some camp shots. Oh, here, check this out. That dude just said it purrs like a kitty cat. I guess that's what happens when you're running at Facebook, it shows your notifications. I guess I should have turned them off. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Idle set a little high. It can be turned down, but man, that thing sounds mean. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's jump in. Yeah. So street view. Oh, and then let's take a look at this A pillar. Again, look at how straight up this goes. So your head is right here. Great visibility out of it. Great structure if you happen to wreck this car. You got your light bar across the top. Another shot. Oh, we've got some pretty decent seats. The nice comfy seats with the five point harnesses. Quality, I mean, there's quality parts on this car. So when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, man, this, is, this would be a kick-ass car. You know, throw your kids in the back seat and let's go rock and roll. So otherwise, that's all I got for this. This fella is in, uh, what did I say, Lakeside, California. So he's out of San Diego. So if you happen to be down south and you're looking for a car, $9,000, in my opinion, for what you get on here is a bunch of quality parts and a really fun car. You'll have a great time in this. So I guess that's all I got. I'll quit yakking in your ear and tell you thank you for watching and see you in the dunes.